Hello everybody. If you've been to the channel before, thank you for joining me again. And if you're new here, my name's Andrew and I make videos about hobbies, most predominantly colouring. This is my uh, monthly wrap-up of everything I coloured in the month of January. I did 28 pages. I've got a few whips, uh, but that's fine. And um, there's a lot of patterns, but let's go through them together so the first one was in the cameras coloring book now if you know me if you've been here before you know i love cameras i'm a bit mad on cameras and uh, i collect them film cameras and i use them so i did one in here and i did what would be a tlr or a roller flex because i have one of those I thought I'm not going to colour them the way they should be coloured them, I'm going to colour them all madly. This was just done with Link, Link Shine Glitter Gel pens. It didn't take that long, I really really enjoyed it, it was fun, they're very simple pictures to colour. Um, and I did this probably on the 1st of January, it was the first one I coloured in the month. I absolutely loved it. So uh, look out for more colourful cameras in the, in the future. Let's put that somewhere. I've got so many books on the table. There we go, let's move that one out of the way. Put that there. I did a buddy colour in Tropicoth with Molly. Hi Molly, thank you for buddy colouring. We'll do some more in February. I've still got to pull the book, I know. And uh, we did this one. And again, this has all been done with markers, various markers. There's no particular brand. Um, I've used the touch markers from TikTok Shop, the Shuttle Arts, uh, who knows. And again, glitter gel pens, um, mostly Link Shine, but I think I did use a few others. I've got so many these days, but that was fun. I really enjoyed doing that with Molly. I hope we do some lots more buddy colours in the future because they are good fun. If any of you want to buddy colour, leave me a link um, comment down in in the uh, the comment section below uh, with your Instagram handle or something like that, and I will get in touch that way. I'm Andy P seventy four. Did one in Mermaids by Ava Brown. Again, this is the first one I've done it, so it's kind of colour hoard twenty twenty two. I just did this not very happy looking mermaid. She does not look like a happy girl, <laughs> but it was a nice, nice picture to do. So I did enjoy it. Again, various markers, shuttle arts, uh, touch new, all the touch markers from TikTok. Um, what else? Bold me, literally just any pe pen I could get my hand on, I used. Yeah. They're all in a big box all mixed up now, the, the odds at the ends. Um, I did one in Spirit Animals. Uh, this is a first, again, colour your hoard, first one I've done in this one. Again, this was a buddy colour with Molly. She hasn't finished hers yet, but this was um, started in uh, December and I only finished it this month. I quite enjoyed it, my little grey wolf. Um, so the pencils were Black Widows because I do love my Black Widows a lot. Um, and various markers, uh, markers, various glitter gel pens. So I have used uh, Link Shine on here, but I've also used the uh, A and Arts ones because uh, I got Jennifer a set of Christmas, and I got myself a set as well. So that was that one? I did enjoy that one. I, I did one in the Macaroon sketchbook, the small book. I love the small book in here. This was just done with markers. Um, and I was going to do a background, but I thought, actually, I quite like the simplicity of it not having a background, of it just being a marker and nothing else. It looked just nice and simple, so I'm going to leave it like that. I just like it like that. Again, if I say it's markers, it could be any number. Another one for Colour Your Hoard 2024. It's really mandalas. Haven't done one in this one before. And as you know, I always start at the beginning. This one was done using, I want to say it was the Faber Castell Black Edition pens. Pretty sure it was. And it's literally just uh, four colours, red, yellow, orange, and black. It looks better on camera than it does in real life, actually. Um, and it was really nice just to just sat there and watched uh, Reacher and did a bit of colouring. 
Another one for Colour Your Hoard 2024 is the Mandala Colouring Book with Inspirational Coats by L.R. Dixon. I found this guy on TikTok. And I just did one. And again, uh, the green ran out. Every green I had just didn't want to work. So uh, I'd found a green that worked and went with it. Um, the funny thing, it's one of the oldest pens I have because it's from my original set of Touch New Alcohol markers that I bought way back in 2017 or something like that. Yeah, it would have been. Um, yeah, so various markers again, Shuttle Arts, United Office, whatever I've got in a big box. Um, I will show you the pens I used before we go on to the uh, 10 books to finish. Uh, Mandala's a colouring book. This is uh, one of the newer Jade Summer books. Various gel pens, um, mostly the A and Arts one. I think, in fact, they are all A and Arts. I like those pens. They're actually really nice. I'm on. I think I'm on my second or third set of them. Um, you always end up with one or two left over that you haven't used as much, and I put those in a big box and use them every now and again. But yeah, because this is quite a. These are quite small ones I thought I'll do it with that and see how it goes and it was really nice it was just so easy just sit there just so relaxing right colour by numbers are next I did pretty flower ceramic tiles colour by number this is pretty to one such day but I do like this little book I it's so cute we did these ones this is the my myosotis apparently it looks very pretty um, and again, it's whatever markers are to hand. <laughs> None of them are going to be the um, ever blend. They're upstairs out of Jennifer's way. <laughs> I did one in the St. Patrick's Day coloring book by Sachin and Such Diva. I think this book is so cute. Now, this was not particularly St. Patrick's Day-ish, so I just did it because it it's the next one in the book. But it's uh, just some clouds and some rainbows and raindrops. And it, oh, it was really cute. And again, these don't take very long. They, I mean, they're very for kids, really, I suppose. But I quite like them. They're nice and simple and easy to do. Oh, no. There's another one. I did actually two in this one. I did this one as well. This one does say St. Patrick's Day on it. I didn't realise I'd done two in that. But yeah. I then went on to Jade Summer and did one in beautiful patterns. This is not one of the ones I've got in the 10 books to work on or finish. It's just one I thought I'd just fancy doing one in. And I did this one. And again, this is whichever markers I can get my hands on. So it's the touch markers. Um, not oh who who they're also upstairs out the way at the moment. Although Jennifer has used them. I like to have some markers upstairs to use upstairs if I want to colour. Um... And I have a load of markers I don't mind Jennifer using down here. To because uh, it doesn't matter if they get wrecked. Um, so yeah, this was a mixture of those sort of shuttle arts and all that. But yeah, it was good fun. Um, we did one in desert dessert ceramic tiles. Or ceramic tiles desserts by Pratchett or and such diva. I like these little books. And we did this little lollipop, and I think it's really, really nice. I will do a colouring chat as soon as I can. It's been very hard at the moment because I, I can't come upstairs because Paul's off work sick at the moment. So he might be upstairs relaxing in bed reading. Or if he's not there, he tends to be, so I can't do it up there. Or he's in here and playing his guitar. So it's hard to be doing there. He's having a sleep at the moment because he didn't sleep last night. That's uh, one of the problems. He does suffer from a bit of insomnia. So I thought I'd get on and get some done. So it's this one. And then I did one in 100 Easy Mandala Colour by Number by Sachin Sachdeva, Volume 1. These are just so simple. I just, you know, they really are. They take a few minutes. I should try and do more during the month if I want. But I don't want to just do simple pictures. I want to do good ones and interesting ones and more complicated ones. Um, but yeah, so it is so simple. And again, it's just all the loose markers I have, on a, you know big box of them over by the where I sit on the sofa now I did two no four actually in 100 best adult colour by number by Sun Life Drawing again I like these they're not all simple but they are fun 
So I, I did this one, I'm not actually sure it's a, a dancing thing, but it didn't doesn't really show what does it say? It's a no it doesn't say, it just says it's coming soon. Um but yeah, so I don't know, can you make it out? I know there's a dancer here and there's something here, but it's not my favourite one of them. Maybe the colours weren't right, I don't know. And then I did one in just glitter gel pen because it was not very many uh, colours. So brown, blue, dark blue, pink and violet, and that was it, so. Um, the dark blue and the blue aren't a lot of different colour, but I like it, it's nice. And again, with the butterfly, I like this one better. That's all glitter gel pen as well, and the a and Arts one. And the last one I did in there was the uh, pink. I wanted to say it looks like a swan, but I suppose it's supposed to be a flamingo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, but I like this book because they are all different types of colour by numbers. They're not all the same. So, so we're we'll be on to the ten books that I've worked on. Although I've only worked on nine, um, so I have this huge pile of pens. And these are all pens that myself and Jennifer managed to use up. There probably wasn't much ink in them. So like I said, we've got United Office here. That's from the TikTok bag. Uh, that, that's TikTok too. That's, uh, again, there's the Boldsmere one. That's from the works. Coralando sketch art from Lidl's. Some shuttle arts. These are the metallics. Again, United Office, shuttle arts. Um, one of those I just showed you in my haul. Touch, touch markers, and some gel glitter gel pens. So these all got to go because they've all been used. There we go. We are now on to the ten books to finish. Um, so I did one in rose windows. This is a book that I will be finishing, and I did this one, which I really like. Uh, this again was done with Crilando markers from Lidl's because they're the ones I like the best in it. That's that one. I did one in Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefania Muro. Again, I will be finishing this book this year. There's only about five left in it. And this was done with the a and Arts pens, gel pens. I don't know if you can see any glitter on it. There is a little bit of glitter on it, so... Okay, so in 50 Easy Patterns, I just did the one. This was using those metallic markers. They're running out, so I was trying to get rid of some of them. Actually, as it was, only one of them ran out, out. So, but yeah, it was, it was fun. I did that one in bed. Um, 50 Easy Mandalas by Jade Summer. This was just done with very bright ones, as you can see. Um, I've got drawers now with all my pens sorted, the ones that aren't like in their own particular cases is what I mean and I've got some drawers with them in. Um, so I pulled out the bright straw and just had to go. So there we are. Trying to use up all my different supplies so that I'm just not using the one all the time and having to replace that one all the time. Jade Summer Colour by Number Flowers. Let's have a look which one we did. I did. Now, I know that I am not going to finish this book this year because this is image 27 and there's 50 of them. And I usually only manage one a month if I'm lucky. Um, but I do like doing this book. I'm enjoying it. So as you can see, this pink was one of the ones that ran out. <laughs> but it still looks okay. So at least I'm getting through some of the markers. We also had a colour by number mandalas uh, by Jade Summer. Again, it's not one I'm going to finish, but I like this one. This is a really nice set of colours in this palette. I like that. So, again, it's a hodgepodge of different markers, just simply because I've got so many of them. It's the easiest way to do it. Kawaii colour by numbers, cut by colour Christopia. I did two in this one. One was of 
the actual kawaii pictures and one was one of the bonus pages at the back so look at the cute little rabbits they are so adorable so this is a book I will finish this year because there's not that many left in it. At least I hope so. And this one. Now, I don't like the colour of her face, but they said to use peach, so peach I used. And it's almost the same colour as this uh, pink. So, but there you go. That's all right. So the bonus one. Again, touch markers, glitter gel pen, and I think they were all just the touch markers, to be honest, looking at it. There you go. Uh, newest book that I've added to the work on is Chibi Girls 2 by April Amber. Again, I'm definitely not going to finish this one, but I did do one picture in it. I did this little lady serving her tea, serving tea, which I really, 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 really enjoyed doing. She was quite cute. That's the only other one I've done. I've only done a couple in here. So, but I thought this one I would put in is something different and I mean I've got four Jade Summer still in there so I'm not going to add another Jade Summer even though I've got tons of Jade Summer books um so I thought yeah and I really enjoyed that and again it was various markers just the ones that are in various boxes I'm trying to use them up so that I'm not just starting new sets of pens all the time and running them out and then ending up with more in the box of pens Chelsea's Pretty Creations, I have actually now done, I know I've said, I'm going to say I've done every page, but this is one of the duplicate pages that um, Jennifer's going to do. I have actually done every individual picture in this book. I'm just trying to get to the one I did this, and this is the one I did this month. The last one, again, it's various markers from my box. I did forget to put the page in, so it went through a bit. So we've got some um, touch markers on there and we've got acrylic what's well, supposed to be a sort of metallic -y, yeah it's a metallic -y blue background and then on her eyes and cheeks it is just the bold mirror pastels which i put on there and they just look nice so that's the last one i will do a full flip through of this book and show you all the pictures i've colored in it but that is everything i colored in the month of January. I hope you enjoyed it. I think the picture from Spirit Animals is potentially my favorite, just simply because it, it spent a lot of time doing it. Really enjoyed that one. Uh, which one is your favorite? Let me know. And I'm very happy that I have now only got nine books to work on for the rest of the year instead of 10, because I finally finished this one. So uh, thanks to you if you've managed to stay this far. Brilliant, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye, everyone.